Let's use some alliteration here. Bizarre, bonkers, bananas, and brilliant. That's how I'm going to describe A24's new film, In Fabric, directed by Peter Strickland. But before you see this film, there's one thing you got to do. Open your mind. Open your mind. Hello everybody, my name's Sean Maserol and this is Nocturnal Horrors. If you've ever seen a Peter Strickland film, you know that he has a great love for giallo films. And In Fabric is no different when it comes to the colors, tones, shots, angles, blood, that is, Argento, Bava, and all things giallo. And as Strickland has looked deep into the heart and soul of an old school sound editor working on a horror picture in Barbarian Sound Studio, now, he turns his cameras towards the world of retail with its sales, department stores, advertisements, catalogs, mannequin displays, customer service, thrifting, and Black Friday-esque chaos. This could be a love letter to the old-fashioned way of retail, but it could also be a harsh critique of today's consumerism. But in the end, this is about a dress. In Fabric follows a cursed dress and all the lives it intersects with. One such life is Sheila, played magnificently by Marianne Jean-Baptiste. She's a divorced mother looking for love in the old-fashioned sort of Tinder way, using actual newspapers and actual photographs to find the perfect man. She just longs to be held. Naturally, she buys this dress from an uncanny woman during a retail sale, and that's when things start to go a little bonkers. This is an exploration of clothes, where they've been, where they're going, how they make you feel, the ego and confidence of it all, the eroticism of it, the bodily fluids that may or may not still be on it after you buy it from a thrift shop, the lives that have loved, lived, and died within this clothing. Houses are haunted, people are haunted, and yes, clothes too are haunted. This film is set up like a horror movie. It has a possessed dress wreaking havoc, yet make no mistake about it, this is a hilarious show. Filled with so many what the hell is happening moments, comedic brilliance by Game of Thrones' Gwendolyn Christie, a steady flow of uncomfortable laughter from most audience members, because that's really all you can do as the film gets more and more intense with comedy. The tones stay dark, the editing violently smashes you over the head at some times, while others dissolves and blurs beautifully with the style of the camera's grace. For a Peter Strickland film, there's actually some plot in this and not just all about atmosphere. But this is by no means some Rob McKee, Sid Field adaptation three-act structure. Some characters go from point A to point B, but then unfortunately back to part A, and that's all part of the exploration. Some might get to A, some might just get to B, and some might stay with A the whole time. That's the fun in this script. There are basically two acts in this film, and I gotta say, most audience members that are mainstream will not get on board for act two. But believe me, if you just give in to what Peter Strickland is trying to do here, you are going to get great joy out of this film. This isn't necessarily a horror film. This is a weird film. This is a comedy. This film resembles so many other films that it brings so much fun to your viewing. It has the retail vibes of Dawn of the Dead, comedic partnerships that rival Hot Fuzz, Nosferatu-like characters, over-the-top covenants, female visuals out of Big Trouble in Little China, long-winded monologues from a Dan Aykroyd script, power and sexuality in a photograph created by Richard Matheson and Jane Seymour, bizarre crowds out of Ray Bradbury theaters, that bright blood and red color from Suspiria, and oh, the atmosphere. The atmosphere that every Peter Strickland film has. In Fabric is a blast. Let it take you over. Let it consume you, and you'll love it. This film is like going to a psychic. If you go in completely closed-minded, you're going to get nothing out of the experience. But 
If you go with an open mind and you truly believe that the psychic is not just a total scam artist that's trying to take your money, then you're going to believe that she can tell you the past, present, and future? Then trust me, you are going to really love this film. Thank you guys so much for watching Nocturnal Horrors. I really appreciate it. If you haven't seen a Peter Strickland film before, I highly recommend doing that. Go see Barbarian Sound Studio or The Duke of Burgundy, preferably both, and then go see In Fabric. You really get the style and his sense of atmosphere and his love for film. And if you have a moment, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you.